story we've been tracking for weeks now. What's the latest on Drew Brees? Now, Drew Brees returned to practice on Wednesday, and what the Saints wanted to know is, does he get through practice unscathed? Is he able to throw without pain? Does he have full range of motion? How many reps does he get? My understanding, based on the week of practice, how he was Wednesday and Thursday, is that, that it is all systems go for Drew Brees for Sunday, which is really not a surprise. It has been trending like this ever since he practiced on Wednesday. I was told that practice went really well, threw it really well, looked like his old self, and players have been convinced that Brees is going to start. In fact, he's told several of them, I'm planning on starting, which is why a lot, a lot of this optimism is really not a surprise. So Drew Brees, who originally targeted this date, the Week 15 date against the Chiefs, as his return date, does in fact make it back. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of the future Hall of Famer on Sunday. Yeah, Ian, we're expecting to hear from head coach Sean Payton in a little bit more than an hour. There we'll find out if he says anything official, if Breeze will have to wear any type of protective vest. Remember when Tony Romo had those broken ribs, he wore a Kevlar vest to help protect against the ribs. Remember, it's a breathing issue. It's, it's a contact issue. And, you know, Sean Payton said Thursday that they want to make sure that Breeze can be an asset to his team and go out there and function properly. Remember, Breeze has got to get through his conditioning and all of this. Clearly has checked those boxes. Keep in mind, last year when Breeze came back from that broken thumb, he was one of the best quarterbacks outside of Lamar Jackson in the NFL. So the time down where he rehabbed and everything, he came back with a purpose. And Ian and, and, and Omar, earlier this week I spoke to Sean Payton on the Huddle and Flow podcast, and he said this is Breeze's last year in New Orleans, so don't think Drew is not thinking of this potential finality in a Saints uniform this final stretch as another motivating factor for getting back, especially against a team like the Kansas City Chiefs. Steve, obviously, Drew Brees and Taysom Hill, very different quarterbacks. So how did the Chiefs' defense prepare for this Saints offense this week? Yeah, on the media availability on Thursday, head coach Steve, our defensive coordinator, Steve Spagnuolo, said that the Chiefs have been practicing against the scheme just in case Brees was going to be the quarterback. But safety Ty Matthews said that they were preparing for Taysom Hill in more of a power run game. Some of the things that Taysom Hill brings differently – than Drew Brees. Now that this is out there, they can go back and retweak some things, kind of get ready for the, the, the rhythmic passing game, more of a passing game, more of a ball control offense that Drew Brees tries to run when he is with the Saints. That is something that Matthew also talked about, something Spagnuolo also talked about. So again, they were prepping for both quarterbacks, but the fact now that they can maybe streamline their game plan, coverages, things like that, that's something now that the, the, the Brees news is out there um, that they can really kind of get a little bit more in tune heading into Sunday.